Crayola markers. These are probably some of the most iconic markers of all time. I'm pretty sure most of us had them growing up. It was a huge part of my childhood, personally. So today, I'm going to be putting them up to the test. I am going to be putting them against one of the most high-quality, but also one of the most expensive brands markers, Copics. Now, Copics are definitely my favorite brand of markers, and it's the kind that I use the most. So, I put these two up against each other because I wanted to know which would do better, the Childhood Necessity Crayola or the artist's favorite Copic. Anyways, now I'm going to be doing the swatches. I first colored down or put down the uh, Korean loop markers because I have less of them. So I figured it'd be easier to match a Copic to a Crayola than a Crayola to a Copic. Now that I have done all of my color swatches, I am going on to the sketch. So you don't get to see most of this and lots of it is kind of like jumped. So you miss a bit, but that's just because it's a lot easier for me to sketch without being recorded. So anyways, I am just doing the beginning sketch, and then after I do that, we're going to move on to the line art. And now that you are gone, I'm doing things that I shouldn't know from. I'm doing things that I shouldn't do. That's what I Okay, this was honestly the part I was most scared for, was drawing the line down the middle, but I did it, I didn't mess it up, so now we can move on to the actual coloring. I'm going to be starting off with the Crayola side, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color in the pants. And do not ask why I'm doing things in this order. I'm kind of just making it up as I go. Oh. Oh. And you smoke on your chair while I so I'm still just coloring in the skin right now. I wanted to make her eyes brown originally, but I just don't think, because of how dark the brown is, I don't think it would give that much contrast between her eyes and the skin. Now I'm just going in and coloring in the hair, which I plan to do kind of going, not really a gradient, but to just go from like pink to black. It definitely didn't work out as well as I had hoped, because I had done all the colorings and testing in Procreate, and then it just, it didn't really translate to marker. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna color the belt. So I wanted to include at least one sort of rainbow in this whole drawing. So that's what I'm going to do with the belt. Okay, so now I am moving on to the Copic version. Um, I think at first I thought that Crayola, when I was just doing the swatches, I was like, you know what? Crayola might actually have a chance here. Like, I'm still pretty sure that they're not going to win, but they might have a chance. Now, I... <laughs> 
I'm pretty doubtful of that. <laughs> Unfortunately, because I accidentally got some of the Crayola into the Copic section, there's just one left. But besides that, it lo it's looking pretty good. Um, I do, even though it is very streaky, I do like how saturated the Crayola markers are. Which is just because, you know, it's for kids, so they want it to be brighter and more colorful. <laughs> result of the Crayola versus Copic video. Personally, I definitely think that the Copic side turned out way better, but let me know which one you think is the best in the poll that will be in the description. I do think that Copic had a bit of an unfair advantage here, so if you might want to see some future like versus type of videos with any sort of art supply, let me know and what videos or what art supplies you would like to see in that. And maybe if I have enough money, I will buy some of those supplies and try. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new, please subscribe. It would mean so much to me and I'm trying to hit 1k by the end of the year. So that would help me out a lot. Anyways, remember to stay weird and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.